Mistakes are a common thing we see being made out on the water. I mean, heck, we're all human, we all mess up at some time, and boaters are no exception. And today we're gonna talk about some of the most common mistakes we see people make in that boating lifestyle. Welcome back, guys, to this week's episode of Boneheaded Boaters of the Week. One of the most common mistakes we see people make in their boating lifestyle is not being subscribed to this channel. That's right, it's one of the easiest ways to protect your drain plug is by hitting that subscribe button below. And while you're down there, go ahead and hit the thumbs up as well. The second most common mistake we see people make just not paying a good enough attention. I mean, honestly, it just takes a small distraction to completely ruin your day out on the water. I mean, even something as simple as taking your eyes off what you're doing for one second to look at that text message that's dinging on your phone while you're approaching the dock can find you in situations that just aren't a whole lot of fun. And then our second most common mistake we see boaters make is just not being prepared in general. They'll approach the dock without any fenders or any lines out and just expect that things are magically gonna happen. And as a captain, this one's on you. If there's others on the boat to help you, you need to bark out those orders just so people know what to do. And if you're by yourself, make sure you have everything set up and ready to go well before you approach the dock. And then one of the next common mistakes we see boaters make, not buying the proper equipment. I don't understand this one. You guys spend big money on all these nice fancy boats, and then you're in the old internet forums asking where can I buy some cheap lines? Now, having the proper equipment can mean a lot of things, anywhere from having long enough lines to actually be usable on your vessel to having the correct tow vehicle to even get your vessel down to the water. But this is still only part of the battle. Even if you have all the right equipment, you need to make sure you know how to use it or at least make sure it's in use to begin with. Not a good day at the boat ramp today. Don't forget your drain plugs. All too often, we see people with the proper equipment just not using it. Forget even just the drain plug. I see people with boat hooks, fenders, and lines who will approach the dock without any of that stuff deployed. Now, if you've got the right equipment, the next step is to make sure that equipment is working and working properly. I mean, how often do you see boaters out on the water and get out there and realize something's completely wrong or something's not working? All because they didn't do a simple check before they left the dock to even check and just see if the bilge pump was working. I mean, you should always take just a few moments before you go anywhere and at least check your basic systems. Make sure the bilge pump's working. Make sure your drain plug's in. Make sure your power to everything turns on. I mean, how many times do we get out there on the water, see some guy sitting on the dock spending 45 minutes trying to start his boat and after fighting with it he finally gets it started and he still winds up leaving the dock and then you see him getting towed back in later i mean you've got to think twice about these things if you're getting out there and you're seeing mechanical problems you probably want to second guess whether you want to get back out there on the water and if you do you probably want to make sure you have tow insurance one of the next common mistakes we see a lot of boaters make is leaving things unattended. I know some people will think this is like a car and there's certain things we do in our everyday life that we can just leave unattended in a boat, maybe like a fuel pump, but that's just not the case. Even lines, you really need to pay attention to where they are at all times or you can find yourself in some pretty peculiar situations. One of the next common mistakes we see boaters make is them trying to do things they can't do. Now this can be a skill-based assessment where you're trying to approach a dock or park it in a parking space that you're just not quite ready to do yet. Or one of my favorites, approaching a bridge. You think you can possibly make it, you're not quite sure. If you're second guessing it, just stop. There's no need to ever try and force it. And speaking of second guessing things, that's gonna lead us to our next common mistake, which is going to be underestimating or not checking the weather. I can't believe people even do this. There's no way in the world I would ever leave the dock on my boat without knowing exactly what the weather was gonna be that day. Now I know things can turn when we're out on the water, but man, sometimes people we see out there, we just can't figure out what in the world made them even decide to leave the dock that day. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Boneheaded Boaters of the Week. If you ever see anything crazy happening out on your waterways, be sure to hit me up on Facebook or Instagram and let me know and you might see your stories over here. Just like BD Jiggin Adventures, Cole K, Elias Lenard, Kevin Deeb, Levi Chris, Levo Sturwell, Pretty Boy 187, RJ Armstrong, Adam Blue, Slaw's House West, Stool 4711, and Victor Rogel did this week. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here. And of course, there's no need to let the fun stop here. Click on one of these videos I've made here. I've made them just for you.